Hi, I'm Lee Fredrickson, and today I want to talk to you about winning in the global marketplace. That's a big topic, and if you're going to win, if you're going to be competitive on a global basis, there are three forces that are kind of shaping the global marketplace that you need to be aware of because they're going to affect your strategy. The first one, of course, is technology. That's a great leveler. It's a great way to get an advantage. It puts you on an even footage with firms anywhere anywhere in the world. So the communications technology, but also the automation and the things that are happening that really allow professional services to go to a different level and to add technology with services. So number one topic is technology. The number two things uh, that you'd focus on is the pace of change. When you're in a global environment, you, you need to understand that things change more quickly. Uh, developments in one country can impact developments in another country with the interconnected global economy. So you need to get yourself in footing to be able to move quickly as a professional services organization, make decisions quickly, and get in front of trends that are happening. The third one is a price pressure. Uh, one of the big forces that has been driving globalization is going to lower prices. And the way that happens is with the uh, introduction of lower wage levels in certain economies. So that puts a natural price pressure down. Now, how do you combat that? Really, the only way to combat that is to find out how to deliver more value, unique value to people. Now, you can do that through the technology, but you can also do that through your expertise, which gets me to the two big things you need to take into account when competing. The first of those is expertise. Really find a niche for your firm, for you as an individual. And that niche can be relatively small because you're dealing with a global level demand. The second thing, and equally as important, is increasing the visibility, the visibility of that expertise. Now you do that through publishing, uh, articles, you do that through speaking engagements, you do it through social media, but you have to do it systematically. So the two keys are is to keep your expertise, make sure it's niche, specialized, and very valuable, and make it as widely visible as you possibly can.